Might open with a general comment about the game, and we will go from there. Yeah, I mean, the first thing I'd like to do is congratulate both teams on outstanding performance this weekend. Um, I think that uh, it was a great softball to watch. Um, a lot of good plays, um, some pressure hitting, some good pitching. Had everything you really want to see in the series. Um, I think we probably did what most people thought was impossible, and that's to beat Oklahoma two days in a row. <laughs> it's certainly the, I can't remember the last time that happened, but it was a long time ago. And I think it's the first series we've won against them since 2009. So again, you know, speak for our program. Um, you know, so but uh, you know, they're always a challenge. They're going to bounce back hard. We know that. But um, I think we learned a lot this weekend about ourselves. Very proud of our pitching and our defense, which really kind of we talk about winning championships with defense. And I think that third showed through today. Questions? Ryan Abram for the Oklahoma. First of all, uh, Mike, for you, you, you talk about it. Uh, how did you go about slowing down this this Oklahoma uh, lineup the way you were able to, especially over the last couple of days? And then for the players, just what's the what's the, uh, the importance of uh, this this series win, you know, moving forward? Well, I think it's about minimizing mistakes against their powerful lineup. They just hunt pitches. Uh, they're so good at. Um, take advantage of any mistakes you make. So I was just proud of our pitching staff to minimize the mistakes. And then when we did hit the ball hard, we made some plays. And that's what you have to do. We talk about it all the time. You just cannot give a team like, like Oklahoma or any really top team second chances, um, especially the ones that don't show up in the school book sometimes. And I think there was very few of those this weekend. So that's what you have to do. They're just gonna capitalize. They never lay down. They just keep pushing. Uh, they got multiple ways to kind of cause damage. And we just had to kind of play at our best, and unfortunately, we were able to do that. And then for the players, just what's the importance of this series win? Mike talks about uh, you know first Texas win over OU since uh, in a series since '09. I think it was the first uh, series OU had lost at period since 2011. So it's been a long time. Just how big is this for the program? <laughs> Well, um, our coaches prepared us well. Uh, they're a very, very good team, but we're also a very, very good team. And, you know, it's always going to be a good game when, when we're playing them, always. And um, as the pitching staff was, like, going throughout the week, we were – they obviously have their strengths, but, you know, we have our strengths too, and we were just confident in our strengths, and that helped us a lot. So um, – but they're, they're a very good team, so um, we're happy with, with the team win. Yeah, I feel like us getting these two wins is really big as a bounce back. And, you know, we always get told that we're such a good team. And just how we executed this weekend, I really think kind of proves that. Mike, so what was the big difference in bounce back from really tough series last weekend, really tough series this weekend, to be able to propel through and get the second, third game win? Well, uh, I don't think you could say we scored a lot more runs. At least we didn't get done. I've never lost a game when we got shut out. Never won when we got shut out either. So we got shut out twice, so it's hard to win. But in the one game we scored, we won. So the difference there was we actually put some runs together and scored and were able to hang on with some good defense. Um, but we know at this time of year you get against these good teams. And, uh, you know, it's going to be those mistakes or, you know, low-scoring games. And, um, you know, that's what happened this weekend. Mike, you talk about limiting this OU offense. I think they only walked six times the entire weekend. You guys have been really good all year at limiting walks. Just what's what's gone into that, and how much maybe was that a focus this weekend to limit you know those free base opportunities? You talking about our pitching stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I have to credit Patty Ruth uh, Taylor on that. She's done a great job with them. She's working on them every single day, building their mentality, working on location and bullpen every single day. Uh, allows me to do some other things as well with the team and monitor some hitting and defense and and all, of course I help with pitching as well but um, and she's calling a great game for us um, you know kind of handed it over to her and I think it's a lot of credit goes to Patty Ruth. Yeah Katie wanted to ask you about that uh, fourth inning at bat what uh, what was going through your mind there after Viviana gets gets hit and gets you the, the chance and then just walk us through that at bat. Um, kind of just not making the moment bigger than it was. And, you know, as freshmen, like, this is a whole different experience, different environment. So just kind of slowing down the moment and just seeing a pitch I wanted and not overthinking, like, what's pitch is going to come and guessing and just kind of, you know, see ball, hit ball. And, uh, you know, just kind of come out of the slump that I've had lately. Just kind of feel really good to start hitting the ball really solid lately. Did you know off the bat? 
oh, it was like mixed feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it felt solid, but I thought it was a little high. <laughs> The lady in the outfield was showing the bruise or hit her in the leg. Mike <laughs> <laughs> didn't get a chance. To, didn't get a chance to ask you last uh, from from last night. But if you could just just tell me your your range of emotions during the play that ended the game last night, and do you feel like a play like that can be? If there's anything such as a program elevating play, the, you know, kind of a mark the tape moment of this is whenever we took that next level, do you think that a play like that could be a, a play well, like the last time? You know, I was still a player, don't get too high or too low, so I was trying not to go too high. You know, I was, I was coming everybody down and see if they're going to challenge this. You know, stay stay level-headed here, don't get too high. So I kind of was, was in that mode, but of course, once I uh, once we got the out, I was like, yeah, let's go, you know? So a little motion was showing for sure, you know, and I was enjoying the moment. Um, but yeah, you always look back on certain moments within the season, um, turning points. Um, you know, uh, you look back across the seasons, you know, that, that year we lost, I think, six or seven in a row. That was a turning point for us to come back out and get some wins, get some momentum going. Um, right now, after a tough weekend, like you guys said, you know, we could have gone the other way against a very tough team. Uh, you know, but against, uh, against OU, we were able to pull ourselves together, play some good defense. And now we've got a big challenge ahead of us uh, coming up with Baylor. You know, they're a team that uh, swept us last year and, and we know they're very tough and uh, we're going to have another one ahead of us. So got to enjoy it for a little bit, but uh, we got to get back to business this week. Do you give them an extra day or so to enjoy one like this, or is it? No. Okay. <laughs> one, they get one day. Okay. <laughs> they had two days last week. Okay. <laughs> and Coach, I uh, just wanted to ask about the freshman. Of course, Aiden showed out today, but then also Kendra last night, the play that she made as well. For them to be able to play like this in such a big series, what does it say about this class? Well, it shows no fear, and that's what you want. I mean, you can look at OU, and they were always sticking. You know, they, they had Parker, and they had um, all the left-hand hitter. Uh, Pickering. Pickering, thank you. Uh, had Pickering, you're right in the middle of their lineup, so they're not afraid to do it, and, and uh, I think that says something. And so, you know, we had uh, Stewie up there at three in the lineup, and Caden leading off, and it's like, you know, you bring these players in for a reason, and you want to put them in those sort of situations. And, you know, Patty's thinking that way, I'm pretty sure, is we need to pressure these kids and see what they got and get them used to it. Um, so, you know, we got just, you know, the game doesn't know you're a freshman. You know, it's going to, you know, in some, in some respects, you know, it can be a good thing. No nerves and, and just go out and do it. Coach, in the players, can you guys talk about the environment this weekend? Game results aside, game results aside, environment this weekend here. Why don't you guys go? Um, i say that we were pretty fired up, and I think this is the loudest I've ever heard our fans, too, which, you know, it came at a really good time because, you know, OU fans, they're just as loud. And I don't think that they were kind of used to having that at away, at away places, you know, and our fans really brought it. And so did our girls in the dugout cheering, yelling, you know, and if, and if the energy did dive off, there was someone to pick it right back up and match it or even higher than that. So that was really good for us and, and a great turning point because, you know, momentum is a, is a big thing that can change the game just like that. So um, the environment was amazing, and the girls were amazing, the fans were amazing, and it, it all came together and meshed really well. Yeah, I thought uh, the fans and just that my teammates, they're all just being loud, and then just, you know, their energy kind of feeds into myself, knowing that they have my back, they're going to be there for the highs and the lows. So just kind of how the fans and we showed up this weekend really felt really good. I, you know, I just like to see what happens if we can get a field like OU's. I mean, it's tremendous for the game. I think it sits 45, seats 4,500, I believe, something like that. And it's packed and it's jammed around like a real stadium. And I think we all envision that for this, for this game. I think if we have stadiums like that, we can fill up the games good enough. So that's our next thing is to try to get a stadium that can kind of accommodate more fans and bring that energy to more games. And then just building off of that, so you're talking about Well, there's always, you know, a lot of fans and they come out here whether we win or lose. And I think that's really special. And they're out here game after game and to celebrate a win with them like that. Um, we love it and they love it. And it's just good to like celebrate all together um, as, a, as like a big family, so. Yeah, I feel like just kind of acknowledging their dedication to, you know, supporting us with the highs and the lows 
And so to be able to share that moment, I feel like it's just a really big turning point. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.